Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. I hope you're having a very pleasant day today. Happy Good Friday. I hope this is a great start to your Easter weekend. And let's go ahead and get into our Face Off Friday. We might actually have two Face Off Fridays for you today. We have Big League, which we'll start out with right here. And we also have a high-end Face Off Friday, which I think just sold on Patreon. It's Tribute 2023 versus 2024. That's going to be a fantastically fun. I can't wait. I can't wait to do that one. That's going to be a fun one. So let's go ahead and get into this and see what we've got here. So just so you know, this is the last four years of Tribute. You might think, wait a minute. There's only three boxes there. What are you talking about? The 2022 Big League set was axed. It got 2021 was delayed so much that it didn't come out until well into the summer of 2022. And then by that time, they're like, all right, we're just not even going to do 2022 Big League. So they skipped it. So you'll never see a J-Rod or Bobby Witt or Spencer Torkelson rookie card in 2022 Big League, unfortunately, because it does not exist. That was due in part because they made collector's boxes of 2021 Big League where you would get like a figurine. And those got way backed up during the pandemic. Uh, they were made over in, I think, China, and they just never came in. So there's no 2022 Big League, but we've got the most recent three years' worth of Big League. Big League's been around since 2018, and uh, it's a fun rip. I think it gets better every year. I really love the 2024 Big League. Now, you might say you're obviously biased because you have a card in it, but it's we've pulled some great stuff. There's those red foils. We pulled the red Ellie foil. We pulled the legendary foil of Mickey Mantle. Last night, and there's an autograph in one in every two boxes, pretty much in all three of these boxes. So I would not be surprised if we pull one autograph or more today. Let's go ahead and start out with, uh, let's do the oldest box first and work our way forward, why don't we? And my, I'm going to guess there's going to be, you know what, I'm going to be super optimistic. I'm going to say we're getting two autographs out of this. I also have to pick which product I think is going to win, and I'm going to guess 2024. All right, let's go ahead and do this. 2024 also is the most expensive of the boxes. It's about a $50 box. This box here, 2021, this one's going to Nick. Good luck, Nick. Let's see what we can find for you. By the way, if you would like to get your name on one of these cards, get your name in one of these videos, participate in our live case breaks, box wars, all that stuff, well... Check us out on Patreon. We sell all of our spots on our Patreon page. There's a link in the description if you'd like to participate. Or you can just simply Google Join Jab's Family Patreon. So here we go. 2021 Big League. You'll notice one thing different. There's 10 cards per pack. You know in 2023, the, uh, I guess, stringflation came to cards in a lot of boxes. Well, not a lot, but most notably flagship boxes started having less packs and less cards in them. Well, that also came to Big League in 2023, as back in 2021, you got 18 packs of 10 cards, and now you get 18 packs of 8 cards. So it's 36 less cards that you get per pack in Big League. All right, so 2021, Ronald Acuna Jr. along with Fernando Tatis on the front. The way this works in these face-offs is I just... Open up the box, I take out the top five cards from each release, and we use those top five cards to determine which box was the best one. It's not a box war, so everybody will receive all the cards in their box. Let's go ahead and start off with 2021. Big League, it's a very affordable product. I think it's about, I want to say it's like $30, $35 a box, something like that. You see those orange parallels coming up? Well, those orange parallels, they are still around in 2024, except they are a blaster exclusive. So things have changed a little bit over time. As you know, you don't, you don't have all the foils in 2021, which is another reason why the 2023 and four boxes are a little more. 2024, especially, they got some really nice. Um, this Key Brian Hayes rookie card, some really nice foils to chase after, and. Uh, the reds and the golds are pretty rare. We saw a Key Brian Hayes rookie card. I guess I'll put that one in my good stack. We got a wanted Mike Yastrzemski in here as well. Ronald Acuna Jr. highlights card. So this is going to be kind of, this is super low end, folks. You can get basically one of these for the price of a 
Blaster Box. This is a, this is a congratulations. You just received an Art of the Game card. They're making a big deal out of this. Artwork on this card, I think it's just an insert. I don't know how rare this one is. And usually, I always have a rule of thumb. Can't cheat during Face Off Fridays. I'm not allowed to go and look up pricing and all that stuff. So I just got to go based off of hunches. So I think that one might be, maybe that's a little bit rare. Let's see what else we've got. I know the, that the in 2023 and 2024, the Let's Go and Game Day drips are ultra rare. Maybe today is the day we'll find one of those. We've got a Cody Bellinger. They're flipping these wanted cards upside down like there's some sort of big hits. I'll tell you what, folks. Also, I'm pretty excited. Okay, so this isn't this isn't rare at all. What the heck? They're kind of making the kids think they got something crazy here. Casey Mize. So those are falling roughly one in every four or five packs. I don't even know if I can come up with the top five cards. I guess I'll put those art, ca art cards in there. If we pull an autograph, whichever box pulls an autograph is probably ultimately going to win this. But, you know, also those big league 2023 and 2024 boxes have the influencer cards that you can find in those foils, so it will be interesting to see. You've got a big league best card right there. But anyway, I'm pretty excited. Top sent me a box today. I have not opened it yet. And it's from a guy at Tops named Larry. If you've been following along with the saga, Larry is the guy to know at Tops. And he sent me a box which presumably has the Jabs Family Influencer cards in there. So I'll, I'll be doing a video. I'll be opening those up. And I will be giving one of those away to one of you. Now, all you have to do is be a subscriber. I'm also giving, I'm going to sign one and give one away to the folks that were in our big league breaks and team breaks. There's Glaber Torres. These are, those are all over the place. Not even all that rare. We ha I don't even think we've really found any top, top rookies yet, but 2021 is kind of weak for rookies. I did take out the key Brian Hayes. Hassan Kim is still around doing stuff, so I'll take him out. Mike Trout, I guess I've got to take him out. If we could even just pull a Shohei Otani, I would take him out and put him in the top five. Oh, look at this, guys. We got an autograph. How about it? Fan Mule Reyes. So I remember breaking 2021, what, three years ago or so, and I was shocked by how many autographs were in this. It was, I think it was actually even better than one in every other box. Now, not every box had an autograph, but it may have been like seven out of 10 boxes had an auto, and we hit one here for Nick. So this, I know, this, who knows, maybe this will end up being the best box. The Shoyo Tani Souvenirs card is going to go in my top five as well. Again, you can pick these up for like 30, 35 bucks or so. And uh, if, you, if you've got kids, that's, that's probably a nice box to kind of get them into the hobby. We've got a Freddie Freeman numbered to 199. So that is probably going to be my second best card. I think I've got five. We can probably do a rundown here and get a lineup of five. You got the Ronald Acuna Jr. art card. I've been taking all those out. I don't even know why. There's Clint Frazier. He is all in with the face scarf. Byron Buxton. Javi Baez orange. Those oranges are basically one in every pack. And I think that uh, the retail and hobby packs were almost, I think they're pretty identical in 2021 with the orange in each one. And they've switched it up since and made it a better product. There's a Luis Robert defensive wizards card. I like that one. So here's my top five. Nick, thank you very much. Congrats on the autograph. I'm going to go with the Fran Mil Reyes number one. The Franimal in his Cleveland Guardians uniform. Number two, I'm going to have to go with the Freddie Freeman, which is numbered. Number three, it's going to be Shoei Otani. Number four is going to be Mike Trout. And number five is going to be, I'm going to go with the, I'm between these two, I'm going to go with Acuna at number five. So that is my lineup for 2021. Actually ended up being a pretty decent box. Try to straighten these all out so that... They're there. And now we get into 2023. Now, 2023, I'm a little unsure of the sponsor of this video. Um, we had Tim sign up without a year, and he didn't say. And then I eventually said 2024, but I also saw Nick. I saw Nick's comment pop up 2021 around the same time that Tim responded. So I thought that 
Tim wanted the 2021. I invoiced him for that. And then I invoiced somebody else for the 2024 box, which Tim ultimately wanted. So I don't know. I told Tim I'll still send you a 2024 box. But if you want the 2023, you've got it, Tim. And if not, Sophia will take it. So it's going to be either Tim or Sophia, whichever one of them wants it. So, I mean, Sophia will take it, Tim. If you don't want it, if you want it, we'll give you first dibs. So here we go, 2023. This is the first year of the influencer cards that Tom's put out. So there's five different influencer cards to chase after in this. I think the most valuable is Jeff Wilson, who is also known as the sports card invest investor. There's uh, Mama Breaks. There is Card Collector 2. There is Slab Socks. And I think there's one more guy. I think he's uh, see the big hat guy. I can't remember. But we'll see what we can find in here. It'd be nice to find one of those. Those influencer cards are roughly one per case. One in every other case. We've opened a few cases of big leagues so far in my breaks. And we've found a couple of the influencer cards from this year. Although we have not yet found mine. It'd be nice to find one in this video. There is a bounty for my card. But it's only in the Patreon team breaks. Or Saturday Showdown. So here we go. You can see those foils. First year of them doing that. Which is pretty nice. There's a Masataki Yoshida. I guess I should start taking some out for consideration. Shohei Otani will get considered. Of course, there's O'Neill Cruz Bigley. He had a home run yesterday on opening day. How about it, O'Neill Cruz? He led spring training with seven home runs. I think he was tied for the lead. And then, in the eighth inning, he comes up and hits a dinger to tie the game. And the Pirates would ultimately go on and beat the Marlins yesterday in 12 innings. Fantastic. And if you missed it, folks, I decided to be a big homer this year. And I picked the Pirates to win the NL Central. I know you're probably thinking you are ridiculous. But if they win it, I think they're going to win it with 85 to 87 wins. It's, I think all those teams are going to be a little behind the big boys in the division. But I'm hopeful. We'll see what happens. We're 1-0. There's Nolan Gorman. Of course, we've got the Brewers to worry about, the Reds to worry about, the Cubs to worry about. There's Bryce Harper, Shane Bieber right there, Ronald Acuna Jr. I'm not, do I take him out? Nah, I think I'm going to leave him in there. Jeter Downs. We haven't seen any of the good foil cards yet. Of course, the Cardinals were a last-place team last year, but you never know. They could always bounce back in the Central as well, become a big-leaguer card. So all the foil cards were basically common foils, one per pack. It's still a cool thing. I'm sure that there's people out there that enjoyed putting the foil set together, a little, you know, little, little bit of a challenge. Here we go with the next pack, or next stack. Of 2023 Big League. We break in 2024 Big League tomorrow in the Saturday Showdown. And we might bring it back on Monday for a matinee. I, I've been trying to, been wanting to do a matinee Monday. And I think that would be fun. Maybe, you know, summer's coming up. I'll be off all summer long. Maybe we make matinee Mondays a break as well. I'm off work for Easter break until Tuesday, so while Sophia's at work, I'm just sitting around here. I'll have all the Patreon packages sent out already for the for the month, and I was thinking it would be perfect to open some cards with you guys and talk baseball. There's Jackie Robinson, Big League. That's the uh, fun box, I guess. I don't, I don't even know what the kind of like kind of reminds me of. Tops Kids, Big League from 92. I feel like every year of Big League, what we've seen is they've made it more and more, I don't want to say better, but they've made it more appealing to the more serious collectors. Like, you know, you got like mascots in here and stuff like that. I think they still do have mascots in this one. Just, But I feel like they kind of tighten it up every single year there's a city slickers card and look at this folks can you believe it another autograph it is nolan jones rookie auto opening act 
How about that? That's a nice card right there. And I was right. I said two autographs. Some of you probably rolled your eyes. Been like, get out of here. Two autographs in big league. Yeah, right. That's We're having one per hobby box right now. We'll take it. We will definitely take it. There's Showtime. I'm just going to call that 92 Tops Kids style. We've got Nick Prada right there. So some good stuff in the 2023 box. And we've got the box hit, Christian Yelich. You get one blue per box. And I opened a bunch of Big League Blasters on the channel a couple days ago. And it seems like there's a blue pretty much in every blaster box. So those blasters have some value as well. All right, let's finish this off. Aaron Judge with the pinata. And here we go. All right, so for Tim or for Sophia, we'll see. I will give all these cards to Sophia and let her auction them off if Tim doesn't want them. I'm going to go with, here's my, here's the cards that I'm choosing amongst for the other ones. I'm going to go with Christian Yelich, number two. I'll go with Shohei, insert three. I'll go with the City Slickers, Mike Trout, four. I'll go with the 8-Bit Ballers, Mike Trout, number five. Just some of those random inserts. So which one do you think is in the lead right now? I would say that 2023 for me is ahead i mean i the nolan jones auto i i would want that more than a fran mill race it is a rookie auto we do have a numbered card in big league but then we've got a box hit i think those are kind of equal and then we've got two we got an otani in each we got two trouts i think that 2023 is slightly ahead right now i'm going to clean these up a little bit to clear some space we'll still keep the top card on top and now we will go ahead and break out the box that I thought would win it all. It's 2024 Big League. Probably going to need an autograph or a really nice red foil or a legendary foil to beat that 2023. By the way, this box is for John Farrett. So, John, best of luck to you here in this face-off Friday on this pretty sunny day here near the end of March. A little chilly, but I think we're gonna go out and maybe do something here in a little bit. It's about dinner time. Gotta go out and buy all the Easter eggs for the annual Jabs Family Easter egg hunt, which is all the kids love it. We hide 300 eggs and we have special redemption eggs, or you can call them golden eggs. Top prize is $75. There's Amazon gift cards. Hidden in each one. Well, redemptions for them. And then the kiddos, they just go on Amazon and pick out what they want. I buy it, and then we get it a few days later. They love it. So they're all super pumped for that. We just got to go and get all the candy for the eggs. And that will be coming. Maybe we'll do a, a video of that. Maybe for Channel Member Monday. I always try to hide the... the ultimate egg in a super tough place last year i put it way up in a tree thinking that uh one of the kids would just start throwing stuff at it to knock it down or get a big stick and knock it down but one of the kids actually i think climbed up the tree and grabbed it there is ken griffey jr i probably should take that one out so i can get at least five 2023 in the lead because of the nice auto if we do not hit an auto in this it might be tough for this one to win to the moon evan carter this is a nice insert very nice inserts those to the moons it's tyler glass now bobby witt jr good vibration good vibrations card has to curse that rookie card is a nice one junior caminero rookie card is a nice one davis schneider rookie card is a nice one There's some good rookies in this class schneider was a beast when he was called up. There's Shoei Otani. That goes in my pile. Zach Geloff is a top 10 rookie from Series 1. So we've got a lot of choices, but we need to find like a clear-cut number one card. Marte, I'm not going to take out. As he was recently banned for steroids or suspended for steroids. Jason Dominguez, that might be the number one card so far. Good Vibrations rookie card. Marco Luciano is a decent one, but I think I've already got at least five other base rookies that are in the same realm as him. All right, so it comes down to this stack. John, good luck. Can we go three for three with autos? Wouldn't that be something? That would be great. We are finding autographs at a clip of roughly 
one auto in every two boxes in 2024 Big League from everything that I've opened so far. This is a very nice clip. All right, John, here we go. We've got Josh Young there. There's Lars Newtbar. And Yuri Perez. Still looking for, I guess, the blue foil. I don't think we've seen that one yet. All righty, let's see what we can do. I do see the blue foil coming up there at the bottom, right there. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be an autograph. Let's check it out. Alika Williams, he made the Pirate Squad. He's mostly a bench player. Tim Anderson, he's on the Marlins now. We've got an Ellie De La Cruz. Nice. That might be the number one card so far. Ellie and Jason Dominguez. Rookie cards. Insert rookie cards. And we did it. We went three for three. Can you believe this? Three for three. Every single box has an autograph from Big League. Ryan Jeffers is the hit. It is a Big League autograph. Minnesota Twins. Here's the back of the card. Very nice. Now it's going to get interesting. What's the best box? To me, overall, I think the best overall card, there's Henry Davis, of course, you know I'm putting that in my good pile. I think the best overall card was the Nolan Jones, rookie auto, since the Jeffers not a rookie. But it's going to come down now to the other cards. Bobby Witt Jr. box hit blue. Very nice. That's solid. There's been uh, There's some solid cards here. For John, congratulations, John. Bobby Witt, I think he's going to be a top five MVP finisher in the American League this year. He may even win it all. We'll see. Let's see what else we can find in the last couple packs here. Josh Young, Forrest Wall. Austin Wells, pretty decent youngster. There's Lars Newtbar Foil. And just pulled the base, Ryan Jeffers. Different picture there for Jeffers, but he's pretty decent. Ryan Jeffers, looking into stats from last year, his OPS was 858. That's that's really decent. You put that out for a full season, translate those stats, 3.3 war. If you played the full season, he might have had 25 homers, 5 war. That's right around all-star level. Zach Geloff right there as well. So here's what we've got, and you can let me know which box you thought one, I think that 2021, it was a good, that was a good, good box for 2021. But let's go ahead and lay them out. 2023 had some Trouts and Otanis. Now 2024, let's move this over a little bit. I've got Ryan Jeffers Auto leading things off as the number one card. I've got Bobby Witt as number two. Number three, I've got Ellie. Number four, I've got Jason Dominguez. And the number five... I'm going to be a homer and put Henry Davis there. I know even though some of you would probably put somebody else there, i got to give Henry Davis his due. He had a good spring. So which line would you take? Line one or line two? I do love rookie cards. I like that you got the top two rookies of 2024, at least so far, and Ellie De La Cruz and Jason Dominguez in that line. Ryan Jeffers had a fantastic season last year in the 96 games he was up. Nolan Jones is a nice youngster as well. I like that that's a rookie card. It's close. I'm taking Big League 2024 to be my champion, but not by much. It was a close one there, but uh, man, how about that? Big League, every single box has an autograph from a low-end product where they're all like 40 some dollars a box. Man, the hobby boxes of Big Leagues, they have, they have really done nice by this product. You could buy multiple hobby boxes of flagship tops or heritage, and most likely, most times you're going to end up with a relic, like two out of every three times. And here in Big League, we're pulling autographs one out of every two times at a rate better than a hobby box for half the price. Yeah, hobby boxes are like 95 bucks for flagship tops. You get 18 packs or 20 packs. Here in Big League, you get 18 packs and half the price and a good clip of autos. I like it. So, folks, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening. We are also likely going to have a high-end face-off Friday coming up for you later on after, after we finish our activities, go out to dinner, go out shopping, maybe, maybe go for a walk or something later tonight. We'll have some tribute, 2023 versus 2024. It'll be fun. 
Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic Easter weekend. I hope you will see us live tomorrow. If you're a Patreon member, we do Patreon-only live streams on Saturday nights. You can only see them and participate in them if you're a Patreon member. So check it out. Also, the Jabs Family card will be unveiled tomorrow, I think. I think I'll do the video tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. We will be giving that card away to one of you subscribers. All you have to do is be subscribed. And also, why not Wednesdays? Remember, we do that every Wednesday. They have $10 they're giving away when you just sign up using that link right there. Also, that link is in the description, and uh, it automatically goes into your account. So when you win something and go to pay for it, $10 automatically comes off. And I've got some stuff in my Marketplace store that's 10 bucks, which will be free after that code is added in. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Have a fantastic rest of your evening, and I'll see you all later for Face Off Friday Part 2. Good night, everybody.